What it do, Kayla? Y'all already know what time it is, man. We back in the video. Y'all already know, man. I'm What's up, Kay. Man? What's up, man? I'm low, as y'all already know. We back with another video, man. Today, guys, we gonna be actually opening up this box that I ordered off of Amazon. It's called the Snack Bar Care Package. While having a conversation that, you know, we thought was good to talk about. A very good topic. So with that being said, we're going to get straight into it, y'all. So I'm about to open the box. Hey, if y'all new to my channel, my name is Kay. I'll be doing everything, man, from travel vlogs, vloggings with my family, with my people, with my friends. Got just you, doing man. everything. Hang up. See what's Let's going see what on they got in here, A little man. snack bar. So today, snack guys. Off. Okay. We're going to see what they Snack got. Bar. I think it's like 40 different things in here. So, conversation that we having today, y'all. Uh, we're going to be talking about... Gotta get to the substance. <laughs> got some famous statements in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, we're going to be talking about, um, you know, just while in relationships. Um, Pirates. Age. White cheddar rice corn puffs. Nah, I'm gonna pass. On you don't, these. you gonna pass on them boys. I'm pass on these, but now I'll go for some. Okay, yeah, this the heat right here. <laughs> for roll up, yeah, I'm a, yeah. Got to got me. Got Mike and Ice in here. I'm gonna go for the for roll up. Saw so pick. Hey. Got some heat in here, boy. Yeah, I I I can't have no sweets right now, y'all. So yeah, they got, they got a bunch of. Oh yeah. It's some stuff yeah, at the bottom. bottom. The bottom's better than the top. <laughs> Yeah, they got they they got some cheeses. They got that milk. Come on, come on now. Oreos. I love cheeses too. Pringles. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got, got two, sets of, two sets of Pringles too. They got another flavor. Original sour cream. But topic at hand. Woo. We gotta bring it up, man. So, um, basically, you know, we were discussing, like, um, having a significant other that's a total package, right? I'm about to but still, in. nah, yeah. hey, go, go crazy, bro. You, you got know to, what? You got to. <laughs> you no, know, boy, love for real love. Having a total package partner, guys, and, um, still finding, or not even finding, being able to have lust or you know um venture off just mm -hmm. with someone else but and we're not talking about any specific you know thing that's going on right now not our this is none of that, that. We this just is want to talk general, like in a general sense. you know because i mean to be honest we both i can think to agree that in past we have you know been through this so of course you know so we want to be able to you know give our view on it um wow you know being you know a different person now obviously mm -hmm. so um <clears throat> me personally um i don't know and when i say i don't know um i say that in a sense of like I've had, you know, women that have been, you know, everything I'm guessing that you would be looking for mm -hmm. inside someone. Yeah. But still found a way to um, stir off, you yeah. know. And I always tell myself, I, I don't think it's ever like when you cheat or anything like that. I don't think it's ever like, oh, that person that we're cheating with, um have oh all the values that mm. that person you know that's that missing yeah but it it be something you know it's a reason and honestly like you said we both have been in circumstances and experiences like that um over the years and it's like even as human beings i don't think we can reason why in certain situations why we may have to step out of our relationship, you know what I'm saying, and, and, you know, cheat or whatever it may be, whatever you consider cheating, texting somebody else, pulling up on somebody else, 
Because there's different forms of cheating. Yeah, definitely different forms but of cheating. But nonetheless, it's and still cheating. And this is cheating. my thing too, though. That's something that you and your partner got to discuss. You know what I'm saying? On the forefront. Just to make sure what's that y'all... What's considered cheating. What's considered cheating and how far y'all can take it. Because certain people, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? No, not what's considered. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. Like, okay. Cheating, cheating in itself, but yeah. like... What's y'all's limitations? Because some saying? people may not think just because I'm texting somebody, I'm cheating. In, in a certain way. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. And but, it may be a standard for that particular person. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be mindful of that. So then it comes down to we're grown, though. And I think that, yep. you know, and granted, I do, you know, but how many people really have those conversations? Honest truth, bro. And this not, is just not, different, honestly, you know. Not too many. Not too many, right? Well, that's what I would think. Because nobody, okay, so what do you consider? I mean, I'm not even saying no, people what is, not having yeah, yeah. these conversations. It, it exists, but yeah. it's not very frequent, you know what right. I'm saying? And as humans, I feel like if that conversation exist more, you know what I'm saying, then people will have clear understandings, Attendance. you know what I'm saying, and clear intentions from the get-go, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, um, talking right. to another dude about, like, relationships and, like, a leasing agreement, basically, like, how can you go look for an apartment, or say, you know what I'm saying, like, the part, or, or even get the apartment, if it's not everything you want, you know what I'm saying, you can go visit that apartment, okay, it's not the table I want, it's not, not the type of kitchen style, and then it's like, you still get that apartment. You got to deal with that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can just go look for other places to live. You know what I'm saying? And that's when it comes but down to the leasing agreements. 12 we, month lease. And now you sign it. So it's like, if y'all both sign a leasing agreement with wanting different, you know what I'm saying, apartments, then. Or wanting different you, things in that apartment. Exactly. That's like a relationship, though. Exactly. That whole you find concept. Find yourself in a debacle. Exactly. But think about it. You just I broke am, that. I am That's... thinking about that shit, bro. It's deep. <laughs> you thinking about it, bro? But it's my thing too, like, bro. Nobody can de define, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> what it takes, dog. Like, well, I, I mean, we both experienced it, bro. I'm yeah. honest with y'all, like, bro. So, you know, I've cheated before, you know. Yeah, but it's I just mean. Like, Nothing that we're proud of, guys. It's just stating facts. And it's being the honest, truth yeah, with yeah. ourselves and each other. Fact. You know what I'm saying? I've I've done that, but it's like sometimes it's just impulsive. You know what I'm saying? It's, it could be impulsive. It could be in the moment. You could just be wanting to step out with no reason at all. Just because you know you can. You can. That's kind of tough, bro. That's crazy. So at what point? Dang, so how do, so how do we, like, how do we process it, or how do we do it, like, what do you mean? Like, how do you, I think I'm trying to ask, like, what. Snackbox definitely hitting y'all, boy, my yeah, bad. Yeah, like, I got an Oreo. Money, I'm on these peanuts now, but, it's some good stuff. We can't be mad, we just talking, man, but it's real stuff that folks don't be talking about, so, now that we dialoguing about it. I'm learning more about myself, you know what I'm saying? And how I can, you know, continue to grow in this aspect. Because it's something that we all as humans working on, whether you want to admit it or not. You got folks, but divorce rates are at an all-time high. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, people be to get, damn. The pandemic. I was talking to a dude another day. Him and his old lady, or her, you know, um, wife, married 30 something years. Most of their friends that have been met, like her was getting divorced during the pandemic. Just the fact off that they had to be at the house together all day, like twenty four hours, financially. Like they really had the to pandemic be was other. forcing more people to you know understand that they didn't want to be with their other individual. You know, what I'm saying divorcing. That's crazy. 